We're bringing you more great content from the Milken Institute Global Conference here in Beverly Hills, California. We've got a very special guest with you now, Susan Feldman. She is the co-founder of One Kings Lane. Susan, good to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for having me. So, let's assume that you know half the working population is male and half is female. Okay. And we need all the best people working in America to get productivity up, but yet we've had trouble with women's participation in the labor force, female entrepreneurship. This is what you're here to talk about and to try to fix. How do we get people engaged and re-engaged in the workforce? Yeah, I mean, I think, well, there's a couple of things. First of all, I think mentorship is, you know, really important when it comes to women and getting women back involved, starting their own businesses. Um, it's something that I'm really passionate about because I feel like I had support from women when I was starting my business and I want to pay it forward because I think the more successful women that are out there helping to encourage other women to get back in there and do it, the, the better we'll be. And these are great people to be, you know, in, back in the workforce. Yeah, and you don't even want to focus on gender roles because I know some dads that stay home and it's, yeah. you know, when you talk to anybody that's a single income household, they always come back to this. And, you know, I have an 18 month old son. We have kind of a surprise baby. Yeah. We do the math on childcare, yeah. right? It's out of control. Childcare costs are crazy, high, crazy. commuting costs, everything. For a lot of people, the math sometimes just doesn't work out. And they're like, you know, I'm going to basically work to pay other people, right. and then my kid will be there. How do we, from a policy perspective, fix that? I think, you know, there's some interesting things going on. You know, sort of this remote, you know, workforce that is out there and growing and getting bigger and bigger. So I think for people who at this moment in time, because they have small children or they, you know, financially doesn't make sense when they go back to work, there are ways for them to still be engaged so that when the time is right, they can get back into the workforce. We need employer flexibility, though, don't we? And I think that's right. And I think you're We've saying... got to end that, be in the office from 8 to 5 or yeah. 9 to 5 every day, Monday through Friday. I that's mean, that, right. that's that right. it just doesn't... And we're seeing more and it more so of that. It seems dated now. It, does, it seems really dated. I mean, think about, like, the way, you know... The... We want everybody commuting at the exact same time, <laughs> sit in your office, even though you're going to be on the computer all day, which could be somewhere else. How right. do we fix that? Yeah, well, I think, you know, you have to maybe incentivize corporations to be, you know, the big corporations to be more and more flexible. And I'm hearing about more and more companies that are doing this. I think for sure in the tech community and startup world, you see that a lot, where there is flexibility. You, you know, have people working remotely and doing lots of different things. I think we need to encourage more of that. Let's talk about the tech community because there's a company, a little startup called Amazon. You might have heard about this. It I've seems to be that. eating the world of online retail. Yeah. One King's Lane, you've got this specialty presence, right? You're finding all these sort of hand-picked items from around the world. What's the Amazon effect for you? Is there one? I think, the, I mean, first of all, they're an amazing company. I think the Amazon effect for us is that strategically, we try to do everything that they don't do. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, honestly, so anything that, you know, you find on One King's Lane, hopefully you're not finding it on, you know, Amazon. We go out, we, you know, search all over, we work with our vendor community really to develop as much proprietary product that you can only find on One King's Lane. Um, and I think, you know, that's where we add value to the customers that we go out, we do all the heavy lifting for you, and we bring you the, all this fantastic product edit, curate, merchandise it for you, and you can't find okay. it anywhere so, else. We'll wrap it up with this, because a lot, you know, polls show that so many people want to work for themselves and be entrepreneurs. They don't like the commute or sitting in the cubicle all day. Yeah. You're a successful entrepreneur. Leave us with one piece of advice on what you've learned on your journey about building a successful company and leaving right. the corporate workforce. One piece of advice to help our viewers do that. Um, I think, you know, if you have an idea and you're passionate about it, like make it happen and move quickly and be totally authentic to who you are and your idea. You have to enjoy what you do. Oh, well, yeah, that's, yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think you can go on an entrepreneurial journey without being totally passionate and love what you're doing. It's, it's too hard. An, an entrepreneurial journey with a One King's Lane Moroccan rug thrown over your shoulder. Totally. Like totally. Definitely. Susan Feldman, a real pleasure. Thanks very much for spending some time with us here Thank at CBC you. from the Milken Global Conference. Susan Feldman of One Kingsley. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.